Hi, my name is Jonathan Samra. I play for London City Soccer Club. I'm 24 years old. I've played um, in a couple of clubs in Europe, and now I'm playing for City, trying to help out the club. I know you're, you're the assistant coach for the B team this year. I know you have an important game tomorrow against uh, S Waterloo. Yeah, Waterloo, yep. And I know that's a home game. Can you tell me a little bit how your season went against them? Um, we've played this, uh, Waterloo two times, and we've been... I think, yeah, we pre I'm pretty sure we did win both games there. And then tomorrow's game is going to be a challenge because I know they'll bring some first-team players. And we just got to play well and keep possession of the game, and like we always do, and just score early and keep the lead. What was your goal the starting of the season this year? You know? The goal of starting of season for both clubs was to have both teams play in the playoffs. And that was the only goal that I would like to set myself if I was the manager of the club. If I, if I am the manager of the club, I would be really happy with how the B team is doing and how the A team is doing. So I know you play on both uh, on both teams on call-up, and I know you had an, an important game last night in the uh, first division team. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yesterday's game was it was a bit crazy because a lot of tackling, a lot of running, a lot of defending, a lot of pressing. It's, it was pretty exciting and uh, thrilling game to watch. There's a lot of fans there. I'm sure they enjoyed it all the way to 120th minute, and we won in the penalties, which was amazing since our goalie played really well too. So how would you say the... Uh, the atmosphere of the team was when the penalty shot was called and I believe was 95th minute? Yeah, it was around the 95th minute. We were, it's honestly, to, I with myself, I was panicking. I was praying that the player would miss and obviously you don't want to pray for someone to miss, but in our favor it helped out and the goalie made a huge save. Vlado played really well yesterday and we were happy the player missed. Even though it might not have been a penalty, but it's okay. I was just about to ask you that. Did you think there was a penalty on your look? Um, from my understanding, I've, we've played against York Region shooters. They've got a lot of penalties on us for the last few years. They have a lot of players who do like to dive, and unfortunately that's the ugly side of the game, but it works to some people's advantage. I guess that's just the uh, part of the game. Yeah. Sometimes some team will go that's out there true. and uh, cause something to win a game, especially when it's uh, second place in the uh, CSL this year. How do you feel that uh, going forward with... Uh, the semifinals coming next week? Well, it was a huge win yesterday, and definitely the team's going to be training hard the next couple of weeks. We're not sure when our next game is because there's obviously games being played today and tomorrow. And I hope we obviously don't want to get the strongest team, but it would be nice to get Kingston because we want to play them again. They beat us both times, and we just want to show them that the but, third one will try to take it in. But going back to yesterday's game, I know you guys scored in the 100th in the 10 minute, I believe, in the second overtime. Yep. And can you tell me a little bit about that play? Um, the play was a really good build-up from the midfield. We played it to Marin, one of the top players in the club, and right across to Kuka, which put it in. Easy finish for him. And it was a huge goal for us and the club and to make history in London. And we thought, to be honest, I thought we were going to win the match because we were pressing really hard. And then they just sent one long ball in, actually in the 122nd minute, I believe. It was yeah. in the 119th minute. 19th, oh, 19th minute. minute yeah. So it was a minute before the end right. of the game. Right. So that must have been a diehard for you guys. It was, yeah. They just, we played because they had a player injured, so we played the ball into them. And they kind of just rushed it really quickly and they sent the long ball in. Their whole starting 10 players were all in our box and it was just a scramble. We headed it out. The guy was waiting on top of the box, scored a really nice goal, actually, top corner, left footed. And then I know after that, after the uh, extra time and full time, you guys went to penalty shots. And I know the uh, outcome of the uh, game was a little bit better for you guys than theirs. Can you tell me about from uh, penalty shot number one to the last penalty shot? Um, with, I've goal, our goalie, Vlad, has always been pretty good at in penalties. So I was confident he was going to make a, a save or two. And in the end, he did make a, say, um, a save or two. And we, I think we, they shot first, we saved it, then Martin shot second. And we were leading already, and I had a good feeling we were going to win the game. And then Kuka, I mean, sorry, Tonchi scored. And then we had Brazzo shoot, and I was the last shooter. And we're going to talk a little bit about your last shot. Uh, I know if you would have scored that goal, you would have uh, put the team at, into the semifinals. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about your penalty shot? Oh, well, I, the ref told me, he's like, if you put this in, you're going to win the match. And I was just like, all right, thank you for the information. Even though I knew that already, but there was, I was a bit nervous, but I'm usually pretty calm and collective on the penalties, and I was a bit nervous just because it was on turf, and 
I've missed a couple penalties on turf, but other than that. Does it make a difference if you play on turf or To be honest, grass? I like playing on turf more. Playing-wise, turf is better. It moves, the ball moves quicker, especially yesterday when it's wet. Honestly, I love playing on turf. The ball moves nice and quick. Everything is clean, clean passes. On grass, some people don't roll the field, and it's frustrating because you're trying to make a simple pass, and it becomes a hospital pass where it doesn't even make it to your partner because there's bumps and grass hasn't been cut. And usually in this league, there's, there isn't much about that, but some of the lower lower teams in the league don't have the greatest uh, facilities. Do you think he made an outcome of uh, yesterday's uh, result? Um, for Actually, they they like playing on turf. They've always had turf for the last, I'm not sure how many years, and we like playing on turf because we like to move the ball pretty quickly, especially where our European players, especially our midfielders, uh, Tonchi and Bega, they like to move the ball quickly, so they like playing on the turf. Do you think you would uh, play some of your games next year in turf? Um, uh, it would be nice to work out an agreement. I know we can't play at the BMO even though we would love to. Maybe at the TD Waterhouse. Maybe play there next season. It would be better, I think. I think it Hellenic, would. Be. The Hellenic Center. No offense. It wasn't. It's not the greatest field I've ever played on. I think it's not about being a great field. I think yeah. it's just you guys are probably more used to playing on turf when yeah. you go to a GTA. So I think Western would be a little bit more suitable for you. That's and especially true. with the new two new fields they have there, maybe you guys can get your games there next year. At least well, not all of them, but at least half. It would be nice. It would work out to our advantage too. And if we can train there, it would be nice because we'd be more accustomed to the turf. And I know you had a big uh, training session today because you have an important uh, quarterfinal game for your yeah. B division team. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that uh, team? Yeah. Um, well, like the training session today was, it was simple, but it was, um, I extended a bit longer. We worked out on a lot of set pieces. We've scored a lot of goals off set pieces, mostly free kicks and corners. And light training session, just a bit of running, jogging, make the players just kind of bring up their morale, mo get them motivated for tomorrow's game, and ended up with a little scrimmage. And uh, what time is your game tomorrow? The game, I believe it's at 5 or 5.30 tomorrow in London at the Hellenic Center against uh, Soccer Club Toronto, I mean, Waterloo, so. Any, any, is there any messages that you would like to give to the city of uh, London or their, or your fans? Um, I don't, it's, been, it's been a hard road for city. I know we don't get much fan support. It's not the greatest feeling, but I always tell the players on the team, it's always be happy. You guys have been incredible this season, even last season. We've just kept moving up, moving up, and next year is going to be another big year for us. So I just, it would be nice for the city to support us. I know there's other clubs they support, but it would just be nice kind of, because we're, we're compared to the London Lightning, the OHL team, as we play in the same leagues, uh, sorry, same level. Do you think there's a reason why you don't get the uh, fan support? Because I know when Harry was in, uh in charge, he got a lot of uh, yeah. fan support. Do you think it has to be anything to do with the new owner that's from Hamilton? Um, that it's not a local owner? I don't know if it's just because if it's a newer, I think we just needed to broadcast the club a bit more, get uh, sponsors in. Because I know the club does obviously have a lot of um, financial backing and we just need to kind of promote the club a bit more, I think, for next season. This season we've been we've had some um, pretty big fans, but that was only against Toronto Croatia because we have a pretty huge um, population of Croatians in London. So they kind of like watching that game. It's like a European derby match. So I wish you all the best tomorrow and uh, good luck. All right, thanks a lot.